Hi guys, Todd here. Or good morning. It's silly o'clock in the morning here. And uh, I really want to go and watch Game of Thrones, the final episode. But um, I thought I would do a quick video for a mod that I have here. Uh, this is a mod, it's a 3D printed squonker from a young man called Tim. And his Facebook group is Born in the Man Cave. Now, Tim sent me a prototype quite a while ago now and uh, I did an unboxing and I showed it off to people in my Facebook group and Tim asked for feedback from the group which he got in spades um, which was re refreshing it, it's, it's nice to see people being able to stand by a product and take constructive feedback as it is intended it's just feedback it's you know a lot of people take these things to heart eh, but no he took it as it was intended and he's gone away and he's come back with something really good uh, it's really good it's not perfect I do have a couple of things I don't like about it but there's a lot more I do like about it I just mainly I like his approach to things I like the the road and the path that he's taken to get to here uh, it is going to be a think between 80 and 95 pounds. I'm just going to go for close-ups. We'll just jump straight into this one. Now this is his the Coluber. I don't know if I'm saying that right. In fact I'm not even going to go and look it up and check it out and see how I should pronounce this because god I hate snakes. I really hate snakes. I hate snakes Jack. I hate them. Uh, anyway you have a, a little card here and you have a serial number and so on. The mod is going to come in and it's going to come in a 3D printed case um, and and this is this was actually the kind of finish that was on the first mod the prototype and that was some of the feedback that we gave them was that it was it was definitely looked like a home print um, it looked like a home print so what he's done is he's, he's just done the case the carry case that it comes in in this finish but the actual mod itself is in here out she comes and uh, that's really really smart I, I now I have a 3d printer sorry I had a 3d printer and um, I, I've never seen anybody do this kind of finish on a 3d print before and it's really really clever it's a flexible TPU filament that he has used and it almost feels like rubber it really does. It almost feels like a rubber. Uh, it doesn't feel anything like your normal 3D prints. Now the parts used in this, it is a, a mod maker, uh, a mod maker click fit. Uh, so that's a MOSFET V1 that's inside here. So you've got like your five clicks on and off and so on. And I'll, I'll put the spec for this MOSFET in the description of the video. You have a, a Mod Maker 18650 battery tube, brass battery tube in here, and you have a Mod Maker uh, version 1 Squonker 510 in here as well. Everything has been sealed in here. It is, you know, the actual chip in here, everything is waterproof and liquid proof. Uh, he does have videos on his website where you can see that, you know, he dunks it in water. Uh, so he's covered all the bases on that one. The print quality on this is, it's, do you know, for, for a home print, um, it's really good. It, it is done really well. I mean, I can see places where, you know, you can see where it's come off the plate. Um, you know, there's a couple of oh, tiny little lines here. You can see, you know, how he's done the button here. But overall, in my humble opinion, I mean, I'm no 3D printing expert. Uh, I think going with this finish, uh, really does disguise the fact that it is a 3D home print. Now height wise it is about 83 millimeters in height. You are looking about 60 millimeters across here and up the top it's about 28 millimeters across here so you'll get a big RDA on top of here. The actual squonk bottle uh, this is one of the what will come with it is a, a monster silicon squonker. It, this holds, if I remember right, uh, I'm sure it's about 9.7, 9.2, 9.7 mil of juice. And to get into this, you actually just push this down. And there you go. Just so you can see how he's done this. So he's actually, his actual carrier system here, it's actually, once again, this is really clever, 3D print. And, you know, it's on, you've got little guides in here, so it's on a runner. I don't have any issues locating it in there and 
up it goes. Uh, it's a lot better than the original design and it's also you can flex it because it's using that TPU flexible filament. So pull this off again, grab my bottle. You can see you've got the nozzle there and just pop that on there. So I've popped the bottle back on, getting everything back together. I mean, I tend to, uh, I, I just grab the head, you know, the head of the bottle like this, pop this back in here, just locate it in there and there we go. Putting a battery in, I've, I've yeah, it's your, <laughs> I've, I've used so many mods that use the, the mod maker battery tubes, but the, you know, battery just goes in, oops, positive up and then just screw the cap back down. There is a blue LED behind here. I don't know if it'll show up here, but I'll try one, two, three, four, five. Do you know that's going to show up? No, it's not showing up under this light here. No, uh, but trust me, there is. There's a little uh, blue LED behind here. I've got the, the AirLab RM uh, remastered that I'm testing just now. So I'll pop this on. And then you can see here that it's not the smallest uh, mod that I, I've, I've come across for an 18650 but uh, once again you do have that massive juice capacity uh, but uh, yeah, you get an idea of the size there now you do have the the contours going on here on both sides but then uh, we'll talk about that a bit more when we go back up top uh, also the button it's No issues, it's got a nice clicky button on it and it fires every single time for me. And once again, you can do five clicks on, five clicks off. So what do I think of the call Uber? I'm probably saying that I always get it wrong. We'll call it a bob. Uh, how am I getting on with it? Right, I really like the case that it comes in. I think that's a, a nice little touch presenting it like that. And, and look, it's made from the same material. It's that, I've, I've, I never printed using this material, but it, it, it really does, yeah, I find it quite amazing. And it does give this mod, it doesn't feel like any other 3D printed mod that I've owned. It's just got that, it almost feels bouncy. It feels like rubber. Um, and, and I like that aspect of it. I also like, you know, he's got the, like, the snakeskin look going on here. I think that works well for him. And I think that was a, a, a good, design choice because it takes away from the lines that you may normally get with a lot of 3D prints. Um, obviously if you pay more for your 3D printer, you dial it in and then you turn the settings right up to the max, then yes, you can get rid of a lot of those lines. But for a home print, for what he's doing, I, I I like what he's done with this print. I really do. Um, I've no issues with the board inside it. I've no issues with the battery tube, the 510. It's all from Rick. It's mod maker stuff. It's doing the job fine. Uh, you do have the LED in here. You've got the cutoffs and all the rest of it. The specs will be in the description for the video. The main thing for me is, you know, you've got the capacity from this bottle. It does hold a lot of juice. I like the carry. I like the system, you know, pulling this off. Uh, it does... When it first arrives, it was just a little bit on the tight side, but as time has gone by and the more I use it, uh, I can just pop that back in there and that's her, she's good to go. It is very, I find it very comfortable. Once again, it's not the smallest 18650 I've come across. It really isn't, but it fits in my hand quite well. The squonk window is nice and open and yeah, I like the fact that he's gone down the route of making sure that it's waterproof. He's got the test videos on his Facebook group. You can go and see what he's done in that respect. I just, I like the approach he's taken. Uh, that That is, seeing this from a prototype to where it is here is, it, it really does, yeah. I love seeing that kind of thing. Of course, as always, um, I, I have to give you negatives as I see them because it's, this is a review at the end of the day and, and that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, for me, as I see it, for a lot of people, the main negative will be the size for an 18650. Uh, I think that is, for me, is, is the main negative. Um, it doesn't bother me as such because it it feels like a rough, this feels like, not to belittle the mod, but this feels like a great beater 
Um, this feels like it could take one hell of a lot of punishment and I think that's just down to the filament that he's used. It was a great decision. Other negatives? No, it's mostly positives after that. Um, I, I just think he's done a really good job. For me, this is... This is about supporting a, a UK mod maker, uh, an up and coming UK mod maker. Uh, just, you know, everybody starts somewhere and this is where Tim has started and I think he's done a good job. Uh, I know 3D printed mods aren't for everybody. Now everybody wants 18650s, but the juice capacity and and the, the, the fact that it feels so rugged and, and it doesn't look that bad either. You can get it in lots of different colours as well, or is it four? I can't remember. He does say he does it in lots of different colours. I think he's done a great job. I'll shut up now. Uh, but if you are interested, go along and check out, check out the check out. Check out. Chuck a can. Check out the, <laughs> check out the Facebook page. <laughs> oh, I need coffee. It's too early. Sod it. I'm going to go and watch Game of Thrones. Tim, thank you so, so much for, for let me see where this started and where you've got to so far. It has been an absolute pleasure, sir, and I wish you every success with what you do in the future. To you guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and until next time, bye for now.